All right, so these are the new silicon group seals for these two lever groups. Again, this is the old style, the new one, technically the same, just the top half has been changed. Typically, this one came with this screen that clips on and off onto the bottom of the sleeve, like so. Yeah. And then nowadays, you know, the manufacturers have started to use the E61 screen, um, which is held in place by the gasket. Okay. Uh, so there is something to bear in mind with these. When this gets pushed up there, it's very tight for space. So what they've done actually is modify the porter filter and modify this gasket. This is six millimeter. This is approximately 5.4. And also they've reduced the height in order that they can get it all in. Yeah. So in theory, if you uh, have this group and this porter filter and you install this, you probably won't be able to get the handle in. It would lock in about there. Yep. Same thing for this. If you had this and you swapped out for this or even that, you'll find your handle locking in over there. So it's nothing to do with the gasket, it's all about they have adjusted this, uh, the height of this. Okay, so just quickly we'll change a gasket, we'll show you how easy it is, and we're going to use the E61 as an example. Again, to remove these gaskets, actually it's dead easy with the E61 screen because you're pulling that down. You could use a small stubby screwdriver, or again we can use this gasket tool. Um, if you're changing this style, then actually you really would need a pointed one and you're actually breaking the gasket, you can't use it again. Alright, so quickly we'll go to the machine, change the gasket. Uh, this machine is hot, it's been on for some time. It's okay to change the group seals when it's a bit hot. Just got to be careful with your fingers. So I'm looking for that edge, it's probably easy to use that. There he is, okay. Yeah. Alright, so actually this seals, again about a month old, it's quite clean. So we'll just give the screen a wipe. Alright, let's imagine, okay let's get a new one. Yeah. Again, extra tiny piece of silicon grease, probably a bit more. Yep. Just coat the surface. And here I'm looking for the side with the bevel or the chamfer is going up. The flat side is always down. Okay. So we go like that. Flat side down. Chamfer goes up. Okay, the silicon grease helps it to go in. It's a lot easier when it's not hot. Okay, so you can actually just push it up with your fingers and then use the port filter to push it all the way up. So that's actually in now. All right. So there you can see the flow. Yep. So that's actually in. Okay, so now we've got brand new piston rings, brand new gasket and a clean screen. Okay, so we'll pull a shot, just to make sure everything's working. There you go. Quite old fashioned, we like doses because they declump everything. And also for this, we'll uh, weigh the shot to see how much we get. Lever down, pre-infusion. 
just checking. So, ooh, let me see. okay. So I'll pull it up now. Generally, when uh, a lot of people have problem with when the lever will sort of kick in, like a clutch on a car when it will bite, you sort of really want to get about that position. And that just depends on your infusion, how you ground the coffee, um, you know, a number of different factors. But we had an email this week about a lever slipping up, which we'd never heard of before. Um, not sure why, why it would do that. Not our seal, but. Okay. There you go. So you can get a good double 50 grams. How much we got? 48, 50. 